Let us look at John chapter 6, verse 44, for a remarkable verse. It says, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw them, and I will raise them up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the Father and learned from him comes to me. What a verse that says no one can come to God the Father. No one can come to God the Son unless the Father draws them. Years ago, I heard R.C. Sproul said that most of us are so poor at English grammar that we don't know the difference between the word can and the word may. To give you an example, if the student says to the teacher, teacher, can I get a drink? The teacher could come back and say, I don't know, can you? It's a word of ability. What the student is really asking is for permission, not ability. May I get a drink? Uh, yes, you may. But here, the term John uses is no one of themselves can come to God the Son unless the Father first does a work in their heart. Did you know it is a miracle of God's grace that you've been allowed to see Jesus for who he is? In Matthew chapter 16, Peter, when the question was asked, who is Christ? Some say Jeremiah, some say Elijah. Peter all of a sudden said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus comes back and didn't say, That's because you have a high IQ. That's because you're educated. No, no. He said, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father in heaven. Whether we like it, whether we accept it, God is saying to us here, I am in charge of letting you know who my son is. You will never get to know him unless I reveal him to you, unless I draw you. And we're going to be considering in our next few sessions how that works out in scripture. How has God, if you're a believer, you have to think of your life story. What was it about God that brought you to Christ? Uh, what, does, what efforts does God the Father go to to see that you know who his son is? And he says, you can't come, you can't come unless I draw you. Then he says, everyone who has heard from the Father and learned from him comes to God. The Bible says the natural man does not welcome God, nor the things of God. He says in 2 Corinthians, the God of this age has blinded people to the treasure, to the beauty in the face of Jesus. See, we can get anybody to say, I want to go to heaven, but can we get them to say, I treasure Jesus above all others? I see Christ for who he is. If I had to live in a place less than heaven, and still be with Jesus Christ, it would be worth it. How did you ever, how did you ever come? Believe it or not, God the Father is responsible, the one you must call to. Show me your son. I want to know him, for to know him will be to know eternal life. The Father is drawing, he's drawing, and we will continue to see the means he will use in your life to get you to know his son.